Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can use the new Photoshop beta generative AI feature to create CGI backgrounds and visual effects in After Effects. Let's go. My name is Evan Wayne. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. As you might have heard, AI is like literally taking over the world right now, along with the world of video editing. And what better way to put to use all these tools than to create sick music video effects or visual effects in whatever project you're working on. I, for one, have probably been waiting for this day forever just because of how easy it is to make visual effects and CGI. For this tutorial, you will be needing the Photoshop beta app though. So if you are not an Adobe Creative Cloud member, then you might not have access to this. This is at the time of recording though. Right now is June 20. 2023 so I don't know in the future when they might roll it out to like the standard version of Photoshop but for now you're gonna need Photoshop beta to have this feature work and you're also gonna be needing After Effects now keep in mind this tutorial is strictly for visual effects on like tripod shots or like drone shots with slow or little movement you can create some effects with a lot more handheld movement but it is just gonna be a little bit harder and the result might be a little bit lesser this method is just a really cool trick just in case if you have any unwanted objects in your footage like example a car buildings objects or just just to completely change the entire setting of your footage. But before you hop into the tutorial, if you guys have at least five minutes of your day, make sure to check out our video editing presets at 11percent.net. Right now, I have a huge sale on all of my products. We're giving a 40% off sale on all of our products in the entire store. I really dumped my heart and soul out into creating presets that just help elevate and speed up your editing workflow. We have presets ranging from title card presets all the way to Lightroom presets. And we just dropped our new artificial camera shape preset. So definitely make sure to check it out here at 11percent.net and remember to use this promo code for an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases. Come on guys, seriously, 40%. Definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we are finally inside of Photoshop, the first thing you wanna do is, of course, you're gonna have to have beta Photoshop, at least for now, at, at the time of uploading. It looks like they're probably gonna go ahead and add this to the real Photoshop later. We have the Adobe Suite, just go ahead, go to the beta app section and just download Photoshop beta. And now the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to create a new project file. I'm to set this to pixels and now whatever your video footage is you're just going to want to make sure that your project is going to be the same size as that so so this is my video footage dimensions now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just grab a quick screenshot of the clip that we're going to be using so i have this nice desert clip right here i'm going to go ahead pause it right here this is a good frame to pause it at and i'm just going to go ahead and take a nice screenshot now it helps preferably if you have you know more smoother footage like a tripod shot would really do great with this especially now it's time to use adobe generative fill now this is this is really i've really been excited for this and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to want to add like kind of mad max like destroyed city vibe for those of you who don't know my very first script i i wrote a script in the seventh grade and I made a script on Fortnite. I made a Bruh. Fortnite. <laughs> I wrote a script for a Fortnite movie in like the seventh grade and I remember this is so crazy right now because I always wanted to do these visual effects and I just had no idea how I was going to create like an entire Fortnite map with like iMovie. This is absolutely insane right now. The fact that like we're kind of finally at this point that we could do this type of stuff. I really want to create this Fortnite movie scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to select the selection tool right here. You can use the square or the ellipse mask and let's just go ahead and add like a destroyed scene. City. So the first thing we're gonna do, select it and voila, here is the magic button, generative fill. Now this is where you just go ahead and type in your prompt. I'm just gonna type destroyed city. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit generate. Now Photoshop is gonna go ahead and load and uh oh, it looks like we got a violated user guidelines warning. Wow, that's crazy. Destroyed city in the distance. And voila, there we go. Now it's done loading and it looks like we got a pretty decent job of a good city loading. Now, the cool thing about generative fill is not, not only does one image generation, but it does three. So if you don't like this one, you can change the next one, which is, wow, this is also pretty decent as well. Or there's this one as well. And this one also does a pretty good job as well. So let's, in the style of Fortnite, this probably looks the most Fortnite. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and add some other elements. Let's go ahead and add like crashed blue school bus oh wow look at there we go we have the battle bus right there oh, oh my god these are i'm not gonna lie these are absolutely horrible 
This is probably the best one that they, they, they were able to create so far. And now the, the, remember, this is Photoshop. You're not gonna be relying, I'm not, you're not supposed to be relying entirely on this tool. And this, I feel like AI is supposed to be like the assistant and the guidance to us. So remember, just use it to just get the creative juices flowing. And then you, from there, you can just go ahead and spice things up. But let's go ahead, export all of these assets and put this into video format. Now, what we're gonna do for this part is we are going to turn off the background layer and you'll see that we're just left simply with all our generative fill layers. I'm gonna use the eraser tool right here and I'm just going to set my hardness to like 0% and my size like increased a bunch and I'm just going to feather away the edges just so that we have like kind of a nice blended feathered edged mask and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for each of my layers right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the background layer right here, isolate each layer individually and I'm just going to hit file and export each different AI generative fill segment. So I'm just gonna name each segment generative fill like one. Now that we're finally inside of After Effects and we have our video clip loaded up right here, the first thing you're gonna do is come over here to your tracker tab and we are going to click track camera. Now After Effects is gonna do its best job to track the camera and we're just gonna go ahead and speed this up until it's done. Once it is done, you'll see that there are now a bunch of, I like to call them the 3D flowers. If you're familiar with our channel, 3D flowers over here. These basically these 3D flowers just help track different scenes going like different spaces and your footage in a 3D sense. We're gonna go ahead and select a 3D like flower field. You're gonna see these this red target. So now I'm gonna right click this target and I'm going to create a solid and camera. And now you'll see that there is like a little red solid going off right here in the distance. I can of course go ahead and just scale this up right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rotate this until it perfectly fits like a nice flat screen right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click our solid and I'm just going to pre-compose this and call this Gen Fill one I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm going to double click this solid and come in here, go ahead and delete the red solid that we have right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import our first generative fill layer. I'm just gonna slide this in until it fits perfectly in the scale of this. And voila, now once we come back to our main generative fill layer, we can just go ahead and scale up this square until it fits perfectly. And once we play it out, you will see that our new apartment complex is now 3D tracked inside of our footage all generated from AI and it looks like it is like imported inside of the video. We're just gonna go ahead and continue this process, just going ahead and creating solids and then pre-composing them. And then just going ahead and importing our generative fill layers that we made in Photoshop. Just continue this process and then after you can go ahead and add in as many overlays, effects or elements as you want. And here is the final results. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I hope at the end of this, you'll be able to walk away with an effect that you can use for your future music videos or any other projects. It's a really fun and simple trick. I definitely love to see what you guys create. Leave a comment down below of which tutorial you'd like to see from us next. Once again, really, if you guys could please check out 11percent.net. The sauce that we're spilling there is like insane. We're dropping presets for Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Lightroom. And the whole purpose is to just help speed up your editing workflow, save you time, and allow you to, of course, raise your prices by creating better work. Definitely make sure to check out our new artificial shape camera pack link in the description and remember to use this promo code for an exclusive 40 percent off any of your first purchases once again thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video peace